So what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dylan Dudley aka Faded by Dylan and I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video I'm going to be giving my buddy Sam here a haircut. It's been a while since he's been in the shop so as you can see he's a little grown out but normally he gets a two on the sides with about two finger lengths on top. Sometimes you might hear me explain the hair in finger lengths and I just find that as an easier translation to my client to explain how long their hair is versus actually trying to pull out a ruler and figure out how long their hair is. And as you can see, to get his hair that short, I'm taking my ring and my middle finger and placing it flat on his head, pulling the hair up as tight as possible and cutting everything that hangs out over that. And when you're doing a haircut this short, you want to make multiple passes just to ensure that all the hair is the same length and you're not leaving any crazy stragglers hanging behind. So now we're moving along to where the top of the head starts to curve, or if you paid attention in barber school, the parietal ridge. So when I'm cutting this part of his hair, I like to place my fingers flat on the side of his head just before it starts to curve, and I'm cutting off everything that overhangs just so I can set up shape for the sides. Now don't forget to tidy up those curly bangs. And now that I'm done with the top, I like to spray it with a little grooming tonic and blow dry it just so I can get everything in the shape and direction I want it to be laying so I can cut the sides. Now I've got the two guard on my Babyliss Low Pros and I'm going to start working that little by little around the sides and back of his head. As you can see, I'm taking my clippers and flicking out just as soon as I meet that parietal ridge that I just trimmed earlier. Another good tip is to make sure your client's ear is out of the way, that way you're not beating it up or you don't Mike Tyson their ear in the middle of a haircut. Now moving on to the back, and as you can see, this is just sad man, cause this had potential to become a beautiful mullet. And I gotta give it to these Babyliss Low Pros, cause as you can see, they can really eat through some bulk. This side of his haircut tends to be a little more curlier than the other side, so I like to take my cutting comb and feed the hair into the clipper just to give it a little more assistance because you may notice that sometimes with curly or wavy hair, the clipper guards will push around the hair versus cutting it. And now I'm going to start blending the sides into the top using a clipper over comb technique. When I use clipper over comb, I like to hold the comb at a slight angle to make sure I'm taking little by little until I see that blend start to come together. When I'm going around the head with the comb, I'm not only trying to remove bulk, but I'm also touching up the hair I just removed with the guard.
After combing the hair up, be sure to brush the hair back down so you can make sure you aren't leaving any long hair behind. Once again, I'm just using my comb to get out any dark spots that the guard left behind. So now I'm going to go back around with the two guard and play around with the lever to get out any hair that was left behind from before. And now I've got a better view of where to bring my clipper since I already got rid of some of that bulk with clipper over comb. Now I'm switching over to my Stylecraft Sabres just to clean up all the line work around the head. And for this I'm only using the corner of my trimmer just so I can really pick and choose what hair I want to take off. Then I'm connecting the vertical bars to the ears and the vertical bars to the neckline. When you're doing this, make sure you're combing the hair and checking your mirror to ensure you're putting in a straight line. Now I'm going to be going over the same steps in reverse to make this side match the other. Now moving along to sheer overcomb, and for sheer overcomb I'm doing pretty much the same thing I did with clipper overcomb, only with sheer overcomb I have a little more control over the hair. The shears I've been using here recently are the fresh swivel thumb shears. I've really enjoyed this shear so far, and you can't go wrong for the price point. You're also going to see me switch to the blending shear of this set and that's just to get out any more unnecessary weight around the parietal ridge area. And now time for the hot towel. So whenever I've got the hot towel around my client's neck, I like to take that opportunity to check my mirror and make sure I didn't miss anything in the blend. And in this process, don't be afraid to go back and repeat any steps we did in the haircut and don't be afraid to take your time because this can really make or break a haircut. Yeah. 
And there we have our finished haircut. So that's going to wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you want more content from me, please check out my Instagram and TikTok down below. And you can comment any questions or videos you want to see in the future.